Before I get started with the lecture, if you are in eighth grade, Algebra 1, or ge Geometry, you need to put these into your composition notebook on the page that I indicated when I assigned you to watch this video. Otherwise, these need to be in your notes. So if you're in Algebra 2 or College Algebra, these items need to be in your notes. And we're going to discuss the properties of equality and negation. Basically, what the properties of equality state is that I can do the regular four arithmetic operations to two things that are equal as long as I do the same thing. Okay, um, I'm going to write them a couple different ways. So the first one I'm going to put down is the addition property of equality. So if A is equal to B, then A plus C is equal to B plus C. That says if I start out with something that's equal, I can add the same thing to both sides of an equation. Subtraction property of equality. If A is equal to B, then A minus C is equal to B minus C. That says that if I start out with two things that are equal to each other, I could subtract the same thing from both sides of an equation. Multiplication property of equality. A is equal to B, then A times C is equal to B times C. What this is stating, that is if I start out with two things that are equal, then I can multiply both sides by the same number, and I will still get a true statement. And my division property of equality. If AC is equal to BC and C is not equal to zero, then A is equal to B. What this is stating is if I have two things that are equal and divide both sides by the same number, I will still get a true sentence out of it. So those are our four properties of equality. Our properties of negation are negative 1 times a number is equal to that negative number. And these work both directions. Negative a means the same thing as negative 1 times a. A negative of a negative number is equal to a positive number. And now we're going to use some of the um, properties of real numbers with these two negation properties. If I have a negative number times a positive number, that can be rewritten as the negative of that product. Or I can write it as... I can move that negative sign anywhere in those three places. Two negative numbers multiply together to give me a positive number. And a negative number 
remember that this is actually a negative 1 out here, and that negative 1, using the distributive property, gives me negative a plus a negative b, which I can write as negative a minus b. So those are my five properties of negation and our four properties of equality.